Another tool that chemists use to help identify volatile chemicals is a gas chromatograph. We'll be using the Vernier gas chromatograph um, to determine what your unknown liquid is. It could be one of six possible liquids, and we'll be looking at those liquids shortly. The gas chromatograph is a very important tool to many CSI organizations, identifying very small samples of material, coming up with good positive identifications. To use the Vernier Mini GC, first we must do some setup. The first thing I'd like you to do is set up a page to record your information. As you can see, I have it set up to tell us first what does it smell like. Possibly it'll have a smell that you identify. Step two, what are the looking at the possible samples? There are six possible samples that you can have. I have those possible samples in this little case. And they are identified for you so you can see what the possible liquids are that you could have as an unknown. So we have our page set up. Now it's time to set up our gas chromatograph. First we will hook up the gas chromatograph to our computer and turn it on. On this side we have the power cable, the on-off switch, and the cable going to the computer. This min mini GC needs to have a little bit of time to warm up. So while it's doing that, let's take a look at what we have. On-off light, Injection port, this is where our sample will go in. And we will watch the readout to see what it is we're supposed to do. If there's a problem or if there's more information, it will tell us what we need to do. It tells us that it's at 22 degrees Celsius and it has a pressure flowing through it of 4.4, 4.6. It tells us we need to enter a profile. And so on our computer, we will begin with launching Logger Pro. Logger Pro is launched, and it is identified that we are using the Vernier Mini GC. So everything is calibrated, pretty much ready to go, but it really isn't. As we look at our start menu, it says start collection. But first we have to identify the parameters that we're going to use. We're going to start the temperature at 35 degrees Celsius. We're going to ask it to hold that 35 degrees for two minutes and then to raise the temperature five degrees per minute. The final temperature we actually would like to have at 85 degrees Celsius. The final hold time says 12 minutes, however, five minutes should be more than enough to get all of the sample out. So let us decrease this number to five. The total length now of sample time will be 17 minutes. The pressure going through carrying the material will be 7 kilopascals. Now we are ready to go. When we push done, the GC will calibrate itself. And it tells us do not inject anything until the GC is ready. It will tell us when it's ready. So let's look at the injection procedure. One of the beauties of this machine is that it can identify extremely small samples of material. 
However, in order to get extremely small samples, we must use a syringe. This is a safety concern. Please be careful with this syringe. We'll also be looking at some of our samples. Let us take ethanol to start with. First of all, we do not know what was last in our syringe. So we're going to be cleaning our syringe, and I would suggest drawing ethanol in it three times, wiping it off, and then going for a final sample. So I've drawn a sample in. Notice the very small drop that is there. That's one. Two. Three. Now the inside of our, G, our GC syringe is clean. It's ready for the sample.